Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Gayboy Psychic here. If you're new to my channel, please read the picture that I'm showing right now uh, to understand where I'm coming from. So yeah, subscribe if you're interested in the shit that I say and just know that I swear a lot, so don't judge that I keep it real. But that being said, this video, we're going to be talking about James Charles once again. So, I have been making a lot of videos the past month or two about James Charles. Um, for because I, I love James Charles in general, like, I'm not like a super, super, super fan, but you know, I feel like he has been persistent in his actions, and I usually like uh dislike someone after a couple years of watching them, for example. Um, like, okay, so when I saw Manny MUA and Patrick Starr, mostly Manny MUA though, uh, like five years ago, like when their YouTube channel was extremely popular and they were just up and coming, um, I kind of like, after like two years of watching Manny, I realized that this guy is like really, really phony and fake and that he's just a yes man. So basically that means that he's one of those gay guys who will pretend to be your best friend, but then like he won't tell you the truth. He just he's really, really phony and fake. I'm not saying he's like an evil, evil person, but I do see that side of Manny. So like I did watch him for like the first two years when he first came out with Patrick Starr and Nikita Dragon and and Gabriel Zamora. They were like this unstoppable like foursome. Uh, but then they like kind of drifted apart and they didn't talk that much anymore. And then their views got a lot more lower. Uh, so that's what I'm talking about when I say that I don't really like stick to someone that I like. But with James Charles, like he's 22 now, is he not? And he came out on the scene of being famous and a YouTuber when he was only 17 because he was the face of CoverGirl. Um, he was the first male person to be on CoverGirl, which is what started his career. So that was when he was 17 and he's 22 now. So that's 18, 19, 20, 21. That's been five years of just watching James Charles on the internet. And this is why like, I love James Charles so much is that he's very, very persistent. Like compare James Charles, 17 year old self to who he is now. He's still like the same like you can tell that his personality isn't like phony or fake whereas like Manny MUA like within just two years you can just tell like his personality is like really phony and fake like him being like your gay best friend isn't who he actually is but that's who he portrays himself as as like his online persona whereas James Charles people like myself see him as like this gay like little brother who's like your best friend who you know has a good heart makes some mistakes but like you're willing to forgive because you know that he's still learning and he's still young so i really respect that of james charles and that's why i've been making a lot of videos about him lately is because i've just i i'm a big fan of his and i just respect you know his hard work um i don't like this cringe videos that he makes like the tiktok what's trending videos and all that boring shit like i think he can like stop he should stop doing those weird videos where he's like hanging out with like these clout tracer like tiktokers like he should just more focus on the lgbt side because i feel like that's what made him popular in the beginning because he has a lot of fans from like gay viewers like myself so james if you're listening to this please continue to make lgbt videos and like stop being cringe and making like these trending tiktok videos like just like stop making boring shit like it's just you're 22 you're not like 17 anymore you know so i feel like he does need to grow up and sense that like he needs to stop doing like oh what's trending on tiktok type of news like that 17 year olds would do like you're 22 you need to have a more mature um type of environment now and like you're still young you're 22 but okay so that's why that's only the reason why like i love james charles so much is because he keeps it real and he's really really admirable for the lg bt community like he's he keeps it real and we gotta respect that so 
that being said, like, this video, he just came out in the fucking... He's in the spotlight once again. Like, he can't fucking stop. And if he's, like, in this big drama, then obviously I'm going to make a video about it because I love him a lot as, like, a little brother, like I said. So, basically, he was texting this guy. And this happened, like, three days ago. So, I am, like, late. But, like, I'm checking YouTube. Rich Lux literally, like, four hours ago just made a video about it. So, it's still, like new like everybody is still talking about it usually like um drama dies down within like a day or two but for some strange reason this drama keeps on going so I'll, i think i'm not like too late i'm gonna post this like as soon as i create this of uh, a recording so basically he got he didn't get caught basically like he was sexually texting in a sexual manner this guy who was like same age as him i don't know how old he was but i'm assuming he was maybe like 21 or 22 like basically james's age wasn't under the age of 18 he was literally like the same age as james who was 22 or 21 or something like that i don't know but um and he was a good looking guy i'm not gonna lie like his profile picture was like him at the gym or something like that so you can tell obviously this guy looks like a ufc fighter and he's just a good looking guy and there's nothing wrong with james flirting with a guy who's like the same age as him there's literally nothing wrong with that at all so if anybody makes videos saying that james needs to stop you're literally trying to stop a gay man flirting with another man that's called homophobia and this is 2023 like chill the fuck out all the karens and mal karens out there like You know, this isn't fucking the 1940s anymore where, like, gay guys, you know, would be executed just because they were gay and talking to other guys. Like, it's just horrible how, like, for so many generations, like, the gay community, especially gay men and even lesbians, like, have been, like, murdered or, like, severely, like, beaten or verbally assaulted. Like, it's just for many many fucking hundreds of hundreds if not thousands of years and obviously that's why i said in 2023 things are changing you know and i love it i love how the lgbt community is progressing and standing around um you know and that's why like i make my youtube videos is because i fight for lgbt justice men or women like even if you're bi curious on the dl like you know it's not right to treat people for liking the same sex and it's basically the same thing as racism and racism obviously is not okay so i just don't understand how like it took so many fucking years for people to open their eyes and realize that like there's nothing wrong with gay people like it's just it's unfortunate that you know it took this long but you know karma is definitely real and i know that i'm gonna fucking ascend to heaven you know because like when i pass away of old age because like all my life I've always like I'm a millennial so but all my life I've always like fought for like not just like the LGBT rights but for like racism right or anti-racism rights and you know just human rights in general I've always fought for human rights so you know just be a fucking good person and it's just unfortunate that like this guy who clearly you can tell if you read the messages he clearly in my opinion was flirting with James but he probably thought that james was like losing interest of him so that's why he like started posting the convos online because i know how straight guys work straight dl guys work if they're losing interest from a cute gay guy that they're talking to they're gonna freak the fuck out and they're gonna like cause drama and shit because they don't want to lose that interest because they're vicarious they're dl i know many many guys who have done that to me and this guy thought that James was losing interest of him, of him, so he started posting shit online so that James could remember him forever for good. Um, and, you know, I am psychic, like semi-psychic. I predicted a lot of shit that came true. So if you think I'm crazy for, like, thinking this, then you can go screw yourself because I know that I am right and that, you know, this guy, if you can tell by the fucking text messages, he was clearly flirting with James. He just didn't get his way, and that's why he threw a fucking tantrum. And the funny fucking thing about this is that his older sister literally called him out, um, this David guy out, for basically 
you know, being a cloud chaser. She literally said that he was leading James on and that, you know, when she called him out on it, she, um, her brother, David, uh, basically told her that um, <laughs> to go fuck herself. And then it was so funny, like the video that she made, like she was just defending James, basically. So this fucking stupid bratty guy, like, he needs to just fucking own up to his fucking feelings and stop being a fucking dick to James and just fucking admit that you were interested in James, but James, like, blew you off. And that's why, like, you started fucking posting shit online is because you didn't want to lose James. And this is a pattern because other guys have done this to James before as well. When James loses interest in guys that he's talking with, like, he basically, the guys will, like, post shit online because they get scared that james is gonna stop talking to them like i know how guys work like um so and that fucking 21 year old like uk british guy like a year ago when james like was flirting with him he literally he um james stopped talking to him and then he literally um posted the convos online so that james could remember him like i know how guys work like they're all the fucking same they're all fucking scumbags and it's just like it's just so fucking funny that he his sisters like calling him out uh and not James cuz James doesn't have his sisters uh have a sister but like um that fucking David guy he also said I was just I was I was finishing watching a video from Rich Lux and Rich Lux was just reading convos that this David guy was asking people that were curious about the situation he said to one fan that his sister has like mental issues she's not mentally there because when the fan was like calling david out like oh well if you're telling the truth then why did your own sister like call you out for being cloud chaser and david was basically replying to the fan saying that his sister has mental issues and when i fucking read or heard that because rich was explaining it i literally like spit out my fucking coffee that i was drinking because literally that shit was so funny that he just threw his sister under the bus just to fucking go along with his fucking lies and scam like it's just guys straight guys in particular straight dl guys they're literally like fucking cockroaches like you need to all the gay guys out there that are getting hit on like just be careful because they will like try to throw you under the bus if something goes wrong like they'll be nice to you if you're t- t- uh, chatting with them privately but then if something goes wrong or if they s- sense that something is going wrong they're gonna quickly throw you under the bus and call you like a fucking gay homophobic word or something like that because they're just messy straight guys will throw people under the bus because they're fucking weird and they're crazy like that and you just all the gay guys out there just be careful i'm not saying all straight guys are like this but a lot of straight dl guys are fucking fucked in the head so please watch out um and like it's just i really i said this in my last video but i'm gonna say it like in every video that i create from this point on like for example like the noah schnapp video that i made literally like two days ago it got like 150 views i thought it was only gonna get like 40 so the fact that it got like triple the amount almost quadruple the amount makes me so happy that my audience is growing and growing the fact that i'm like literally making this voice recording and like who knows how much people like 150 or like so on I'm just forever thankful and honored because obviously I'm emotional right now because I really mean this from the bottom of my heart, but my YouTube channel is mostly for like the LGBT community, mostly gay guys. So if you're a gay guy out there and you feel like you've lost hope in life or like you want to have like a gay friend, like a gay guy friend, but in your city, in your town, there's like a lot of people in the closet. So you're literally by yourself and most of your friends are all girls or something like that. Just know that you have me, and I've been through that position. I, in my city, there's hardly any gay guys, and if there are, they're in the closet. But, you know, and most of my friends are all girls, to be honest with you. But just know that, like, there are people out me out there that will always be there for you to listen to and to get guidance from and just to, like, be your friend. So that's what I want to be for other gay guys out there. So if you're a gay guy or just, like, a good person in general, straight girl, whatever, like, um, but let's keep it real, I do want my main audience court to be gay, guys, um, 
just please subscribe and follow me and just be interested in what I come up with because my goal as I gain more and more uh popularity I was gonna say fucking gain clout I, I'm not a fucking trashy when I think of the word clout I just think of like some trashy like straight tiktoker guy who wants or girl who just wants clout for attention that's not my purpose I want attention but I wouldn't call it clout like I want popularity and fame so that I can you know fulfill my dreams because I've always wanted to be famous and it's finally happening and also just to be like Nelson Mandela and just like set a good example out there that you know there's nothing wrong with gay people and my YouTube channel is mostly for the LGBT community so again if you uh, agree with me and if you are a part of the LGBT community then please subscribe and I love you guys so much and please be excited for what I come up with next like this year is going by very very nice with my youtube channel like i've been making a lot of videos lately not on purpose but a lot of drama has been happening like i wasn't expecting to make the andrew tate video but i did because that guy's intention fucking horror and the noah schnapp video like that video just like that that moment that noah did a couple of years ago was an iconic moment in, in the lgbt community if you ask me so i had to make that video and now james charles is at it again have to make this video so who knows how much views this video is gonna get I, if i were to guess maybe like over 100 i don't know but it just it shocks me to say that because it's like i feel like i'm a professor like i'm your gay twink professor in harry potter world in harry potter class and today's lesson to all my 150 viewers out there is you know how james charles talks to you guys but my next lesson is probably going to be about League of Legends because I love that game so much. And the preseason is starting very, very soon. And I just can't wait for the new fucking cinematic. Guys, the new cinematic is going to be coming out very, very soon. Um, I think it is going to come out this year. In some years, they don't have a cinematic. But for the past two or three years, they've always posted like high-quality cinematics. So I'm just really excited. Again, I hope Ezreal is in it cinematic, and I hope he's like going to be the main focus. Because you know, last year Kaiza was the main focus. I really hope that Ezreal is the main focus this year because that guy is my main. But anyways, love you guys so much, and once again, subscribe if you want positive karmic justice. We're the universe, and for all the LGBT, especially gay guys out there, just know that you have me, and please support me if you want to live a happy life. I don't know what to say. Sorry, that's not corny. Okay, subscribe. Peace out. I'm done. <laughs> Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. Okay, so this is the only time throughout all the videos that I made in, on my YouTube channel where I'm adding a second voice clip. So, yes, I am editing this video. Like, I'm going to add another clip onto my other one, but I forgot to mention this. So, and, okay, I just, like, forgot about it because I was, like, I closed the video and I was, like, oh, shit, like, I forgot to mention this. But, yeah, so, okay, like, I don't even know how to mention it, but whatever. So, in the conversation that James was having with that guy who called his sister, like, mentally retarded. Oh, my God. I can't believe he fucking said that. His older sister, he literally called her, like, mentally unstable because she was calling Meta on his fucking bullshit. But anyways, in the messages that him and James was having, you know, this is, like, an iconic moment <laughs> in fucking history in my eyes. Like... <laughs> everybody is fucking talking about this and it's so fucking funny but yeah james charles was like giving like a list of requirements to this guy <laughs> and james says that okay yeah you gotta be six feet two or taller not sure how tall this guy was i'm pretty sure he probably was because he did seem tall and attractive uh so yeah i'm guessing this guy probably was over six feet two and then um another one was like uh you gotta no no he was saying something about like oh <laughs> he was saying something like oh you gotta like good head or something like that because i give good head james was saying that i don't know like if you look at the list you'll see for yourself it was just fucking funny like everything on that list was so fucking funny <laughs> and then the funniest fucking part in the middle of the list was like oh you gotta have armpit hair <laughs> And then everybody who's making a video about this topic, everybody is fucking mentioning that and everybody is laughing about it. And it's just so funny. I personally am not laughing at it. Like, I understand that, like, there are some gay guys out there that do like armpit hair for some specific reason that I'm not sure, but I don't judge. And I think it's fucking funny. And I... <laughs> 
like this is why i'm saying like this is like a moment in like lgbt history like <laughs> never in like the history of the world has like an openly gay twink like james charles you know is so fucking open and all the conversations are being leaked for out through for the fucking billions of people to see in the world that james charles is obsessed with guys who have armpit hair like it's just so fucking funny to me and it's fucking iconic if you ask me and that's this is why i love james it's like he has no fucking filter like okay james like if you like armpit hair then i fucking commit you for what's the word uh, I bow down to you for fucking openly admitting it to guys that you're talking to. Like, I think, because a lot of guys are, like, scared to admit that shit. Like, I don't wouldn't call that, like, a fetish or a kink. But some, like, gay guys, they have, like, fetishes and kinks. And, you know, for James to, like, just flat out say he likes guys with armpit hair, like, I think more power to James. So I just got to mention that, like... <laughs> sorry i should have fucking mentioned this like in the very 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 fucking beginning of this video i can't talk but like yeah sorry like when i closed this video like five minutes ago i was like oh shit i forgot to mention that but yeah <laughs> i think the thumbnail is probably gonna be something silly like that so i can get views because it's fucking funny okay i'm sorry it's really fucking funny